Hi guys and welcome to a beautiful morning in Bali. I'm currently on vacation with my boyfriend and this is our beautiful hotel. As you can see there are swim-up rooms which we obviously have one and it goes out into this beautiful lagoon. Um, it has greenery alongside the walls. It is really really beautiful guys. Also at night really calm, really quiet. The food here is amazing. This was one of the first things we had. This was like um, rice paper wraps and then some tacos I believe. Uh, on the second day we went through the mall to go to the beach which was Kuta Beach. I do have to say I expected it to be a bit more tropical looking. Maybe that was just my opinion about it. I also thought there was quite a lot of garbage on the on the sand um, so to be honest Kuta Beach wasn't as pretty as I was imagining it to be still it was nice to sit there and hear the waves see the people going in there in one of the clips you will also see a lot of pollution you will see quite a lot of plastic um, I was going in the water up till my knees and I could feel the plastic just move around my legs, which, just saying, is not a nice feeling. Also, this dog took a shit in the ocean. <laughs> which is basically course of nature, and it was actually pretty funny at the moment. But still, <laughs> when you see a dog shitting in the ocean that you're going into with your feet, that's not nice. <laughs> but it's truth guys it is the truth the dog also doesn't belong to anyone it's a street dog which they do have quite a lot in Bali So here you will see quite a lot of plastic floating around. You see it's not as nice as I thought it would be to say it like it is. Just finished a small fitness session at the gym. Now it is time to go to the room. It's smelling burnt here because I think someone's barbecuing or something. So that's basically what I'm going to do now. Back to the gym, uh, back to the hotel room take a dip in the pool, shower, and get ready for dinner. After the gym we grabbed some food and then we just went to bed because we did have a trip planned next day. So also try these cheese balls, which they do not taste like cheese balls. Not at all. So one of the first places we visited was the Taman Ayun temple, which is a royal temple. When visiting you will notice that it is really well kept, there's no trash anywhere, it's beautiful. Also when seeing these buildings, um, this is really typical Hindu with the staircase uh, roofs on top. This is basically the symbol for the holy Mount Meru, which is the place for the gods. When visiting a temple keep in mind that you do have to wear specific items you can wear a t-shirt but you do have to wear a long skirt or long trousers if not you will get a sarong from their people i was wearing a long skirt so i was lucky they also had this beautiful statue of the goddess of rice this is this was absolutely amazing to see i loved every detail of it um, our guide even explained some of the trees there and which fruit they grew it was absolutely stunning and yes guys i am wearing converse sneakers under my dress because 
we had to walk quite a long time there but yeah So afterwards we went to Tanalot, which is probably one of the most famous temples. It is a sea temple and one part of the sea temple is only uh, possible to access when there is low tide. Now sea temples were actually pretty important uh, during the Melasti ceremony, which is basically a ritual cleansing that takes place before a traditional wedding or before the Nyepi, which is the Balinese New Year. They celebrate the new year that we know, but they also have their own traditional Balinese new year. Now, Tanalot is accessible when you have a wheelchair or you have wear crutches or something like that. It is pretty accessible. Only going to the beach is going to be more difficult, but you can admire the views from up top. We did for the most part. We only went to the beach for just a small moment and that was it. I mean, look at these views, the water was beautiful, it was absolutely amazing. And while on these videos it looked like there, was no, there were no people there, it was actually really crowded, especially on the beach part. So keep that in mind, going at sunset it is going to be crowded as hell. So this is basically the part that is only accessible with low tide. Um, we went to the beach and when we were leaving the beach, most of these people were knee deep into the water because the tide was coming in. So that's what I mean, only accessible when low tide is there. and welcome from me in Belgium. I decided to put a little clip in here because I didn't film the monkey forest that we visited on the day one trip. Um, basically we weren't actually planning on going in there because we were a bit scared of the animal cruelty and the way they were treating their animals. Now the guide did say that um, they treat their animals really correctly and really friendly so we decided well might as well just go because we did pay for it um was it fun it was cute to see and when they came and took nuts out of your hands it was really cute would i do it again no um reason for that is these people that are basically um selling the nuts and having people take pictures with the monkeys they walk around with sticks now when they walk around with sticks, they say it's to keep the monkeys at a distance um, and to keep them from stealing your stuff. But let's be honest guys, a stick is not just uh, used in a friendly manner when you, if monkeys don't come near you. So I'm not stupid, I feel like um, they were using the sticks in a not correct way and <coughs> so I would never do that again. Um, also when asking so one of the guides said well there's also like visiting you can also go elephant riding and i was like but do they treat the elephants correctly and he just uh, avoided my question a bit so i would never go elephant riding as well um which i think is strange because hindu do worship elephants i believe correct me if i'm wrong by the way um i'm not hindu so i don't really know but yeah so the fact that he avoided my question basically meant for me 
that they do not treat their elephants in the correct way and that they do get beaten and I do not want to um, support that in any way. Um, when we went to the monkey forest, which you have a few in Ubud, I you have a few in Bali, I believe. You have the most popular one in Ubud, but you also have one that we visited, which was a little bit outside of Ubud. Um, the one, uh, the most popular one in Ubud, um, has the comments that the monkeys do tend to get a little aggressive and they do tend to bite. And the one that we visited, that didn't. Um, the monkeys were also really, really sweet and friendly. Um, you could also take a picture with a flying fox, which for those wondering is like a bat this size. This size. Um, we <coughs> we obviously took a, pic a picture with it. Also something that I would probably never do again, but still it was in a trip and we paid for it. And before we went, the guide said that they were treated right. So we kind of were a little bit easy on our belief, to be honest. But yeah. If you go to Bali, really, um, let's be honest guys, they don't treat their animals in the correct way. Um, yeah. Now in the next clip you will also see some typical Balinese dance, which I do want to explain a little bit. Um, in Bali they have multiple typical Balinese dances, this was more of a theatrical Balinese dance that actually tells a story. Um, I did not film everything for the simple reason that it is just too much. Like the dance in itself took about an hour, hour, hour and a half. Um, so I like the costumes, I like the story that they were telling even though I didn't understand everything. I mean, pretty obvious. Um, but it was really amazing to see. Also kudos to them for wearing these heavy uh, costumes and those thick costumes because it is very very hot in Bali and it's also very humid in Bali. I was sweating just sitting there in a dress. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the typical Balinese dance. Enjoy guys! <laughs>
So next up we visited the Goa Gaja temple, which, sorry if I butchered that, but this is known as the Elephant Temple in Bali. Um, it's pretty close to the central of Ubud and for my perspective I thought this was one of the most pretty temples, one of the most interesting temples because of these cute, well cute is the wrong word, but because of these impressive um, fountains and then also the entrance of the temple was impressive with all the details So I did not have a clip of the entrance, but I do have a picture. So this is a picture, it was in my opinion really impressive. And inside the cave you could see a statue of Ganesh. There is a little clip of us walking through the cave and in the end there is a woman praying. And I thought it was really impressive that they allowed us to visit the temple inside while people were praying. So yeah. Next on this trip we did see some people doing their wood carving and let's be honest guys, these people are artists. This was really impressive to see. My dad is somebody who makes furniture or who, who basically made furniture, he cannot do it anymore. But still, 
when you see something like this even my dad was like those people are artists you cannot compare i mean this is incredible they just have a idea in their head and then they basically just start carving around we obviously did buy something something small because we did want to support them um we bought something small because obviously we cannot take a lot of big wooden uh statues with us but yeah they gave us a little explanation of the t the different types of wood and which wood was better and all of that stuff so yeah Something we also visited were the, let's have a look how to pronounce this, because the Tagalang <laughs> rice fields in Ubud. Um, <coughs> I completely butchered the name, guys, sorry. I only have pictures, I thought I have a video of it, but I don't know where it went, so these are a few pictures. They were really popular rice fields in Bali, um, you can also go on swings there, so really a touristical attraction but it's so beautiful then we after all the things we visited we decided to go to the beach we were enjoying the view the sunset now it was a bit cloudy so we didn't get to see the entire sunset but still but we just look at the images And then we went back to the shopping mall because we decided we wanted to try something else for dinner. Um, we decided to go to the shopping mall and have some dinner. So something that we were eating, don't know what it was, but it was really good. And then we also had some spring rolls or lumpias, I don't know how you guys call it. And then I myself took the pot thai. Um, yet again, amazing guys, just amazing. So this is the end of vlog video of Bali part one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be a second one up and there will also be probably a third one which is going to me this is going to be me telling about whether or not I liked Bali, would I visit again, um, the food, where we stayed, <coughs> basically that stuff. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one.